All right. Hi, I'm Kelsey Freinholt, and I'm going to be doing an assessment on my 12-year-old son. I'm going to be doing an adult assessment on him. So first, I'll have already completed a complete history, including the Snell and I exam, which he scored in 2015, so he wears corrective lenses. And then I'll gather all my equipment that I'll need for the exam, and then head to the room. Hi, I'm Kelsey Breinhold. I'll be doing your complete physical assessment today. So what that means is I'm going to be listening to your heart and lungs, testing your reflexes, um, testing a couple balances, but I'll explain what I'm doing before I do each step, okay? And then if you have any questions while we go, go ahead and ask them. So okay. first I'm going to check for alertness and orientation. I can see you're alert, you're awake looking at me. You can protect your airway. So I'm going to ask you, what's your full name? Easton Matthew Brunholt. And what's your birthday? July 31st, 2013. Perfect. And can you tell me what month it is? It is August. Great. And can you tell me what we're doing here today? We're doing an assessment. Perfect. Great. So he's alert and oriented. So now I'm going to go ahead and test your cranial nerves. So cranial nerve number one is smell. So I'm going to have you close your eyes and close one nostril and tell me what you smell. Okay. Alcohol wise? Yep. And close the other nostril. Great. All right. So cranial nerve number two, we already did when we tested his eye exam. So cranial nerves three, four, and six have to do with eye movements. So can you follow my fingers? So I'm checking that his eyes move at the same time and there's no strange movement. Perfect. And then I'm going to check for Perla. So I'm going to look at his pupils. They're equal, round. I'm checking if they're reactive to light and accommodation, which they look great. And then can you close your eyes and open them, raise your eyebrows. Looks great. Okay, so then I'm going to move on to cranial nerves five and seven, which I'm going to have him puff out his cheeks. Good, and open your mouth. And I would have a tongue depressor, and I can look in and check his gag reflex. I can also feel his neck and thigh erect. <laughs> <You're okay. laughs> and then, so I, I checked the facial muscles. And then I'm gonna check cranial nerve number eight, which is hearing. So I'll have you close your eyes and tell me what I'm whispering in your ear. Potato. Potato. Great. So hearing is great. And now I'll do cranial nerves nine, 10, and 12, which have to do with um, facial muscles. So I'm going to have you put your head against my hand, push against it on the other side. Good. And then go ahead and open your mouth, close your mouth. I'm also going to have you swallow. Check that you can swallow okay. All right, and then part of the um, facial bends as well as I'm going to have you tell me if this is sharp or dull, okay? So close your eyes. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Good. Okay, so then I have 11 left which has to do with um, movement. <laughs> so I'm going to have you stand up and go ahead and put your arms out and touch your nose and out and touch your nose with your other hand and out. Great. And can you put your heel down your shin on both sides? Excellent. And really quick, I'm going to test your balance. So can you walk toward the computer on your heels? Good, and walk back on your toes. Great, go ahead and have a
have another seat. And can you go like this with your hands? And touch your thumb to your fingers on both sides. Excellent. You look great. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the rest of the body assessment. So as I go from head to toe, I'm going to assess his skin and look for any abnormalities as I go. So first, I'm going to look at his hair, feel for any abnormalities on his scalp, and then I'm going to fill his lymph nodes, fill for his thyroid, um, and then I'm going to have him, can you just come in up here? I'm going to check his spine for scoliosis, and I'm going to check for frematis. Can you say 99? 99. Good, I don't feel any frematis. So now I'm going to listen to his lungs. So can I have you say 99 again? 99. 99. 99. 99. And then I'm going to have you whisper one, two, three. And can you say E, 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 E. Good. So when I'm doing that, I'm listening for any kind of consolidation. So now I'm going to listen to, I'll inspect his chest, and then I'll listen to all five heart sounds. So I'll listen to aortic, pulmonic, herbs, tricuspid, and mitral. Good. Sounds great. And then I'm also going to um, check his extremities and fill his pulses while I'm checking his heart. And then let me have you sit down again. I'm going to assess his abdomen. So first before I, so first I'll auscultate for bell sounds. So normally I'd have him lay down for this. But. So listen for bell sounds. And then I'll fill, percuss his liver and his spleen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then I'm going to ask him if, if there's any pain when I push on it. No. So I'll do light palpation and then deep palpation for feeling any pain. Great. And then I'm going to assess the rest of his limbs. I'm going to check Holman's sign. Is there any pain? And then I'll check clonus. No clonus. Good. And then clonus. I'll explain after. So clonus tests for issues with hypertension. So if I let go of your foot and it taps like that, that would be called clonus. But that looks great. So then I'll check your reflexes, one down here. I would have a hammer and I would check the patellar. Good, and the Achilles. And then I can check his brachial and then brachial radialis. Good. And then I'll ask him if he has any questions. I believe that is it. Thank you, Easton. <laughs>